This will be a high level overview of the EZ One Connect software. So this is the main page to start up the software. One nice feature is down here, they've added an option for videos. And if you need a manual in the software, you click that and it downloads the PDF for the manual as well. Let's go back to the main page. So you can see we have patients, test, history and utilities. And actually if I had any of the spirometers connected, um, it would show down here. So there's nothing's connected right now. So let's go into patients. Now if I wanted to add a new patient I'm dealing with, I could click new. And I've got these fields that need to be filled in. Anything with an asterisk beside it is a required field. So, uh, and even this, uh, the ID number, you can either, if there is like a, a worker ID number, that's something, or you can even have the software automatically generate a new ID number. I'm gonna go into one that I've put together already. And if I edit that, we'll give you an example. So last name, first name, all the details here. Also, I mean, if, if I've got tests that are already done and something changes, uh, maybe I had something incorrect here, I can go in and I can have it update the existing test. So rerun the calculations. Um, things like if someone was a smoker, so smoker here, um, but it would, you can get into how many cigarettes per day, years of smoking, if they have asthma or COPD. There's other things you can plug in here. Also, any kind of notes, right? This is just a gibberish I put in, but uh, you could put notes in there. So I click OK. Now, if I want to see my history, I can click on that. And like I said, I know this. there's some information. These are mostly playing around tests, but if I take a look at it, I've got the test details here. And like I think I showed in another video there, you just click on it and it gives you reasons why that first trial may have not have worked out. So if I go back to the main menu, um, so if I had uh, the Easy on PC spirometer hooked up, and that's a spirometer that needs to be hooked up to the computer all the time um, by USB, I could go into test and I could actually run a test on it. With the EC1 Air spirometer, it's really designed um, to be, it can be connected by Bluetooth. So if Bluetooth is connected, I can connect to it and run the test from the computer, which is kind of nice. The person could be holding the EC1 Air and there are options to have visual cues. So say a birthday cake with candles, um, you can have the person keep blowing uh, for each trial and when the tr when the, all the candles are out on the birthday cake, that's a complete trial that's been successful. Kind of is a nice visual cue, and I'll show that in a different video. Um, if I go into history, oh, so it's still, because I'm in actually my file, so the history is, is for me. Something I want to show you in utilities. So see this, I've got the company name and some details up here that can show on the reports when I print them or save them as a PDF, where that is, setup is in configuration in the header here. So I've just added that in. You can add in bitmap uh, type things as well as like pictures. Storage, I've got this database in this location, but I could, if I was going to do spirometry at a client, I might want to start a new database for their location. The um, things like, uh, the units and temperature, like, you know, metric or imperial units, all that it can be set here. Now on the easy one air, that's usually set on the device. So when you start it up originally, it'll, uh, you pick Canada and it kind of defaults, but you can change the units on the unit. Now when you download it, um, you could change them here, but it's nice to have them preset before then. Uh, on the easy on PC that's designed to be run from the computer, it's important that you go in and set these up. If I go to test, uh, actually, let's go to device. You can see these are, this is the uh, easy on PC. So if I had it connected, I could play around and make sure that it's uh, working with the correct COM port and the uh, easy one errors here as well. As far as the test, um, there is lots of different parameters that are set up when you load the software automatically, but you can go in and like say these uh, predicted um, types of uh, settings, they, they are changeable, 
but when you set the region, it pretty much locks it into place when you set start up. But it, you can say it is changeable if you need to. This commenter, uh, when you load the software, it it won't be um, uh, initialized. So if you go into import, you can add these in, and there's all standard comments depending on what the uh, results are from a test. And you can put custom in there as well. That's something that's fairly new and has been added. The um, for occupational health and safety, there's it's usually the FVC that we're looking at, but these units are capable of a lot more than that. So there is a lot of other settings in here. Um, for example, like the Cal check here, we usually use a three liter syringe. Uh, if someone's using something different, they could go in and make the change there. So again, I want to kind of give you a quick overview of what's here. There is a lot of things that, and it's covered in the manual. Um, you may want to check the manual or contact NDD directly as well. Things like printer setup as well. Maybe you have a couple printers on your network and you want to decide how to, uh, which one to use and, and when. So that is a really quick overview. So I hope that helps people out.